Let's get it. Absolutely gorgeous day here in the Carolinas. One of the most beautiful ones I've seen in a while. And it's not really from an outward appearance, but I guess it would be my inside looking out. Not what's on the outside that I'm looking at. I guess you would say my outlook on this day. Yeah, just a fine day. And as always, I hope everyone else is well. And that you two are able to get out and enjoy this marvelous day that the Most High has given us. Yeah, I said marvelous. <laughs> waiting already and I like it I love it That's why it's best to come out to the park during the heat of the day. <laughs> I just thought, because most folks don't want that smoke. <laughs> they don't want the drama that sun beating down on. Being raised in the sun, raised in that heat, just gets used to it. And it starts to become normal or what you need oh boy look at my head and that's just from walking up maybe a well I know a hundred feet or so a couple of hundred feet I don't even want to say a quarter mile. And with that, I'm gonna jump on into this thought because it's a very good thought for one reason and it's something we all need to ask ourselves or we should ask ourselves Is this me or not? The thought is, who do you trust? The Most High God or Lady Luck? The Most High Elohim, as I call him, or Lady Luck? We all have faith and what we invested in will always pay off. And my word for today is aleatory, aleatory. And it means depending on an uncertain event a contingency as to both profit and loss relating to luck and especially to bad luck <clears throat> so aleatory is depending on an uncertain event 
or contingency as to both profit and loss relating to luck and especially to bad luck. Luck means success or failure apparently brought by chance rather than through one's own actions. And that word chance, the occurrence and development development of events in the absence of any obvious designs. And something we was taught growing up, my parents taught us, they said if you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. And I'm going to read over some scripts that's basically making my case for us to trust in the Most High and not just in lady luck or chance. Because the truth be told, if we're not trusting the Most High, we are investing our faith into something or someone. Into something and or someone. And most of the time, I, I should say we're investing our faith into something and someone. And most of the time, that someone is ourselves. Oh boy, that was a mouthful. Most of the time, we're investing in ourselves as the most high God of our life. And if you know like I know, that's a very bad investment. Because that's who I invested in. And that investment paid off, all right? Just like I said in the beginning, we all have faith or trust and what we invested in will always pay off. And a lot of times it's paying off in one of the best teaching lessons there is and that's pain. But I want to read over a few scripts like I said that's making my case for us to invest our hope, trust, and faith in the Most High Elohim, Yahuwah, and that's through His Son, Yahusha. <clears throat> or Yahweh Shah, or Ahiah, and so it's called Him also. And as I heard another brother say, I don't want to leave out any of my Hebrew brothers or sisters with what they're calling, which as long as we're calling on the most high Elohim, then we're all in the right place with him. And there's a reason why he's called us to, to call on him with different names right now, but that's not important. The most important thing is, who are we investing our time in? Do we trust the Most High or Lady Luck? And the scripts, the first script is Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please Him. For he who comes to the Most High must believe that He is, and that He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. And see, the Most High actually gave me this script pretty much close to the last one this morning in my study time. But as I began to read through the scripts, I thought this should be the first one that we read over. Because it's showing us that we have to make an investment. It's showing us that we have to put our trust in Him, literally putting it in Him. And it's a physical thing. It's just like you taking your money and putting it in the bank or taking your money out of the bank and investing it into stocks and bonds. You are literally moving something someone else, somewhere else, or, somewhere, or, or into someone else. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to the Most High must believe that he is 
and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And see, we have to realize there's a reward for our diligently seeking him and investing in him. Okay, in Romans 1 and 20, for ever since the world was created, people have seen the earth and sky. Through everything the Most High made, they can clearly see his invisible qualities, his eternal power, and his divine nature. So they have no excuse for not knowing the Most High. Oh boy. And I'm gonna read through these. There's no real need for me to elaborate on any of them, but I will as the Most High give me direction. And Philippians 1 and 6, being confident of this very thing, that he which had begun a work in you will perform it until the day of Yahushua HaMashiach. And that's personal. In Jeremiah 32 and 17, O sovereign Yahuwah, you have made the heavens and earth by your strong hand and powerful arm. Nothing is in, nothing is too hard for you, or nothing is impossible for you. And we could take that on, on into our personal lives for whatever we need when we trust in Him for it. There's absolutely nothing too hard for Him. And he's saying, he, he, he says that he started a work in us and he's going to complete it. And Ephesians 3, 20 and 21. Now all glory to Abba Yahuwah, who is able through his mighty power at work within us to, to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think glory to him in the assembly and in Mashiach Yahuwah Yahusha through all generations forever and ever amen and I did look up that word infinitely and it means to an infinite extent or amount without limit without limit And Isaiah 26 and 4, trust in the Most High always, for the Most High, Elohim, is the eternal rock. And Psalms 56 and 8, keep track of all my sorrows. You have collected all my tears in your bottle. You have recorded each one in your book. And I'm going to read over my notes and then we're going to wrap up this thought and get our exercise in. The Most High Elohim, God, made everything we see. Everything we see came out of Him by way of His words. He spoke and it was. Whatever he spoke came into being. He has also spoke each of us into being by words and has given us those same words as a reminder of who he has made us to be. We find those words in his command to Adam and Eve from the beginning. The, the creator never rescinded those words after our ancestors blew it in the garden. No, the Most High didn't bite his tongue. When he speaks, he means it, and it is. Abba simply set his plan in motion to redeem his man back to himself, since his man broke the law. Now it was necessary for the creator of man to fix his mistake and pay the cost needed to make the transgression or the iniquity right which iniquity does mean lawlessness. The Most High Elohim himself came
came in a body and redeemed his man back to himself by giving himself to be the price for man's lawlessness or iniquity. The most beautiful part of this entire picture is that our Abba or Father made each one of us with a desired purpose to work out and a path to walk. There is no cookie cutter process in the creation of his man as we notice that our fingerprints are unique to each individual. The, the holy text says in Luke 12 and 7 that Abba knows every hair on our head, that he saves every tear we cry in a bottle, and that he has given his angels charge over us to keep us in all our ways. And those are three different scripts. This is love and individuality given to each person, which shows the care, concern, and attention that our Abba Yah has for and is willing to give us if we would simply believe in Him by doing what He asks us to do daily. By doing what He asks us to do daily. So I would think that we should really ask ourselves this question today. And as I heard someone else say, I'm not, these thoughts, these thoughts that I have daily, they're not commanded for you to do. It's something that I'm suggesting by way of my taking that suggestion first, searching my heart for the thought, and then applying it. And how I apply it is by walking it out by way of the Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit. He leads and guides me into all truth, which means he leads me into how to follow the Most High's word that's spoken to me verbally and on the, in the scripts. But who do you trust, the Most High, Elohim, or God, or Lady Luck? Because you're trusting one of them. And as I said, one of them is just by happenstance. You're basically saying, I'm going to trust faith. Whatever happens, happens. It's no design or plan to it. Whatever happens, happens. Let's get it. We praying and we praying, trying to get right. Get right. All this theme to you, shining my light. My light. So I'm searching through the scriptures, find my birthright. Birthright. Vengeance is the father, hand gotta fight. Gotta fight. Return to the gunner, that's my plan. My plan. World full of darkness, I'm a glow light. Glow light. 1159, time to catch fly. Catch fly. We praying and we praying, trying to get right. Get right. No time to play games, no Nintendo. Nintendo. I keep it real in the truth, no pretend. You get the real thing, ain't no demo. We said up shop in the ghetto. Get all the bruise out the slums. Here we go, here we do. This is straight talk, no echo. We do laws, that's your commandments. Hello, got me strumming like a banjo. Got me sitting, I was once sitting low. Had to repent for them sins I once sold. Now cry loud and spare not, I let it show. The rule I hit you, how you like, whoa. Whoa. All of these scripts, all these verses I throw It's straight and narrow, and they ain't letting go nope. By my father beers, man, it's something you need to know no. On with the word and my ammo Jumping, stumbling blocks, and he's stubbing my toe We praying and we praying, trying to get right, get right. All this theme to you, 
sunshine, my life. My life. So I'm searching through the scripture, find my birthright. Birthright. Vengeance is the father, he ain't gotta fight. Gotta fight. Return to the planet, that's my plan. My plan. Water full of darkness, I'm a glow light. Glow light. 1159, trying to catch flies. Catch flies. We praying and we praying, trying to get right, get right. Trusting in the father, everything he'll do. do. Been washed clean, I gotta stay true. true. Wooly hat rocking, I'm a Hebrew. Quorum Yashara, yeah, that my crew. Elevated couple levels, spiritually, I done grew. Had to lead the world, I guess I'm acting brand new. Prayer line to the heaven, know you who will give me through. Faith in the Mashiach, another breakthrough. Yeah, true. Umuna, man, ain't no mystery. Sold out to the Abba, to my people, Yahoo. Yeah, Bible study, Papa, now these scriptures run through. Psalms 19 and 9, the word and the truth. It's about salvation. The Father got our back, no matter what we facing. They can quit tracing, ain't no replacing. Born by your hood, and it's so amazing. Fruits of the Spirit, I'm embracing. Yeah, all this thing to the most I'm praising Kaha loud, my arms raising We praying and we praying Trying to get right Get right All this theme to you Who shot my life My life So I'm searching through the scripture Find my birthright Birthright Vengeance is the father He ain't gotta fly Gotta fight Return to the clinic That's my plan My plan World full of darkness I'm a glow light Glow light 1159 Trying to catch flies Catch flies We praying and we praying Trying to get right Get right we praying and we praying, trying to get right. Get right. All this theme to you, who shine my light. My so I'm searching through the scripture, find my birthright. Birthright. Vengeance is the father, he ain't gotta fly. Gotta fight. Return to the planet, that's my plan. My plan. World full of darkness, I'm a glow light. Glow light. 1159, trying to catch flies. Catch We praying and we praying, trying to get right. Get right. See, a lot of us are so selfish that we think we're our own creator. And see, we don't like to hear about ideas like this, that the Most High created us and created us for a purpose. See, that's the last thing some of us want to hear because we're selfish. We want to walk out our own plans for our lives. And see, nine times out of 10, it's other people's plan that you see that the most I gave them for their lives. And if we would get our heads out of the clouds, literally, for a moment or two, and seek the most high's face for the plan he has for us, and literally give ourselves over to his plan, then we will find happiness and fulfillment in our daily lives. So I know y'all hear me quite often say daily or refer to daily, this daily walk with the Most High. It's just like I was telling Derek when I was at this spot last, when I bumped into him, that we can't, I was gonna say screw, a, screw, screw around. And I said, we can't screw around with this daily progress the Most High is trying to orchestrate in our lives. See, if we take our eyes off the ball, one single day or one single moment that could be the opportunity Hasatan needs to mess us up. Maybe not eternally or for good but it can hold up progress and that that um pardon me
that reason. The purpose that the Most High has you here. See, just that one day off the mark, it's going to hold up your purpose from speaking in someone else's life that day or walking the walk that you're expected to walk according to Torah that day. And like I always say, someone is always watching. They're watching and they're listening for your words. And actually folks are looking up to you. <clears throat> they see your walk. They see what you're going through. Through all the diversity, they see you pushing forward in the right direction daily. And see, that's another reason the Most High has me out here daily. And he asked me that today. He said, why are you doing what you're doing? I said, because that's what you, you told me to do. <laughs> God kind of caught me off guard. I'm like, that's what you told me to do. What you mean, what, what am I doing? When, what, why am I doing what you told me to do? Why am I doing what I'm doing? And he said, no, really, why are you doing what you're doing? Hmm. I said, most high. Abba, I definitely have a love for your people. And another reason, I don't want to see nobody going through the pain and hurt that I went through. But I love folks. I truly have love for people. So that's why I get out here every day. And see, the most high needs a vessel of honor so he can put on blast. He needs an image that's reflecting his image on this earth. So he can say, this is what I'm looking for. And this is the example I want you to walk in. Because this example here is gonna be the example that makes you, you an overcomer. As Yahushua said, I have overcome this world so that you can overcome it. You can do it too. Just like the old kids saying we used to say, I can do it, if you can do it, I can do it too. I can do it too, Punchinella, Punchinella. I can do it too, Punchinella. If you can do it, I can do it too. Whatever. And I try to be careful about them old sayings I be saying, but that was an idea about if he can do it, we can do it too. And see, we need to remind ourselves of this daily. Once we get up, if we would start punching the clock and saying, okay, somebody's watching me. I don't know what they're going through, but somebody's watching my words and they're watching my deeds every day. They can be watching from afar, they can be watching from, from close. It don't matter. I gotta walk this thing out daily. I gotta be that image of the most high here in my sphere of influence in my earth in my world okay let's get it We praying and we praying, trying to get right. Get right. All this theme to you, who shine my light. My light. So searching through the scriptures, find my birthright. Birthright. Vengeance is the father, him gotta fight. Gotta fight. Return to the gunner, that's my plan. My plan. World full of darkness, I'm a glow light. Glow light. 1159, trying to catch fly. Catch fly. We praying and we praying, trying to get right. Get right. No time to play game, no Nintendo. I keep it real in the truth, no pretend. Pretend you get the real thing, ain't no demo. demo. We setting up shop in the ghetto. ghetto. Pull the bruise out the slums. Here we go, here we this go. That straight talk, no echo. Why we do laws, that's your commandments. Hello. Hello, got me strumming like a banjo. banjo. Got me sitting, I was one sin low. Yeah. Had to repent for them sins I once so. Now I cry a lot of spare, now I let it show. Let it show. The rule, I hit you, how you like, whoa. Whoa. All 
of these scripts, all these verses I throw It's straight and narrow, and they ain't letting go nope. By my father beers, man, it's something you need to know no. On with the word and my ammo Jumping, stumbling blocks, so ain't stepping in my we toe We and we praying, trying to get right Got a steam to you, shine my light my So I'm searching through the scripture, find my birthright, birthright. Vince is his father, he ain't gotta fight. gotta fight Return to the planet, that's my plan My plan I'm full of dog nicks, I'm a glow light, glow light. 1159, time to catch fly. catch fly We praying and we praying, trying to get right, get right Trusting in the Father, everything I do, I do. Been washed clean, I gotta stay true, true. Wooly hat rocking, I'm a Hebrew Quam Yashara, yeah that my crew Elevated couple levels, spiritually I done grew Had to lead the world, I guess I'm acting brand new Proud line to the heaven, know you who will get me through Faith in the Mashiach, another breakthrough yeah. True Umuna, man, ain't no miss you Sold out to the Abba, to my people, Yahoo yeah. Now see, family, what the Most High was just telling me He needs for us to stay in our lane And that goes back to the thought That we're always trying to be like somebody else If we are stop trying To be a carbon copy Of those folks we see That we think are living the good life Or that we think got it going on But are the unhappiest people in the whole world And then we're trying to follow suit with them but see, the Most High made us uniquely, just like David said. And I meant to put that script in our um, thought for today, but it says, basically in my own words, why are you mindful of me? To the point where you made me so uniquely and intricately. My body parts are oh, so intricate. And that's what I was trying to say before. But, yeah, we would just stay in our own lane and seek the most highest face. And that's my word of encouragement for today. Stay in your lane and seek the most highest face for your purpose, for the path you are supposed to walk. Why your fingerprints were designed different than anybody else's. And it's basically because you're the only one that can grip a hold of that purpose that you have. You're the only one that can hold on to it and see it through till the end. And just like something else the most I was just telling me, once we do that, we will truly be able to do more than Yahushua said we would do. He said we would do more, more works than he did or greater works than he did. And see, the most I was just giving me insight to that. He was like, if Yahusha had GoPro, <laughs> and if he had the internet, if he had Facebook, he had YouTube, if he had all Hebrew Connect, if he had these things, I sure hadn't planned on this route. <laughs> uh. But the coach knows best. <laughs> 